Alrighty. It's Tori again. We are on the last moon. That just totally ripped. That's okay. That's how we're feeling right now. We're just gonna continue with the flow, maybe. Give me the painting already. Jesus. Well, that flopped. Okay, toolkit. Colors. And painting. Pretty ish. I don't know. And Nancy Colors. So we have a rogue bag of $38.65. Then we have thirty-eight fifty-three, thirty-eight thirty, thirty-eight thirty, 38.33, 38.30, 37.71, 37.70, 36.09, 967, 56, 310, one bag of those, yay. 208 and 154. This is an autumn, for sure autumn. I'm just saying for sure autumn because of all the colors, really autumn-ish coloring. So not too bad, really not too bad on this one. Okay, so since it's the last final one, we're going to give it a good look through. Canvas quality looks really good. Um, the drill field looks really good, even though I kind of, it just does not feel right. It, kind, it feels like the fabric, you know, but... Okay, and it actually feels more like fabric than plastic. So that's a plus. The glue area definitely exceeds over a lot. So that's something to be mindful of. The key. Now, the DMC number on the key is very small to read, but the symbols on the key is very easy to read. So that's okay, I guess. But, all right, far away, since I'm either nearsighted or farsighted, I basically can't see far away. Um, definitely cannot make out the DMC numbers on the key, but I definitely can make out the symbols on the key. I can still make out the symbols. Some of them are a little bit fuzzy from this distance. Um, can't see, I think that's a number four. Let me bring it up closer. Yeah, that's a number four in the east. So those two from a distance, um, those definitely kind of look like but when you get into the brighter areas, like around the moon, it looks a little bit better. I can definitely see the threes. I'm guessing that's gonna be a 310. Um, the bright, I think that's a five or an S, an S. Yeah, matching up the colors with the key. So the S's, Looks like it's going to be a hard, because, I mean, when you have it down like this, okay. Let, let's look at it this way. 
I'm holding it up and looking at it. But I should be looking at it down. Yeah, so the S's are going to be a little bit hard to read. The fours near the E's are going to be a little bit hard to read. The threes and the ones are going to be easy. The fives are going to be hard. Um, where all this bright color is at is really easy to read. You get up in here. I believe that's a, yeah, that's a six. So this dark purple area right around this way, it's going to be a little bit hard to read on that. Um, so definitely watch up, um, leaning over the painting, making sure I'm placing the drills properly um, on certain areas. So I'm seeing the most troubles for me would be where the darker colors are going to be at. So mainly around this area and then this area up here. Um, some of the lighter colors like in this general area here um, I can tell somewhat it looks like the peas are kind of like going to different tones of colors so that could be a little bit tricky but definitely in this bright area where the moon's at I can definitely see each color uh, each symbol clearly and then when I get to this point of the on this side of the moon um, this will be a, a trouble area and then down here will be also where it's bright orange it's gonna be really trouble area on both sides um, so I don't see any more trouble areas except for maybe down here there might be some something funky going on with the printer down here kind of looks like the E's are not really E's they look like little curved E's even though they're supposed to be big E's I guess they look curved a little bit so there's something going on with the printer at the very end here maybe I'm gonna say maybe there now when I get over here um, where there's a cluster of bright uh, bright or dull yellow uh, or orange this area well in particular this area here it's gonna be a little bit tricky to read of that thinking that's a little b yeah that's a little b that's gonna be a little bit hard for me to read it a little bit but the majority of this is gonna be pretty easy so just a little tr trouble areas but not too bad um, and that's just with my eyes with no glasses and no light pad and just natural light and sleepy eyes at that so just something to look out for whenever you purchase this um, six pack um, if you do have older eyes um, just be wary of the darker areas especially when they try to do dark colors with light um, letterings they might be a little bit trickier to read granted I do like the aspect since they are using a dark background they're using white lettering instead of black lettering so that does make it a little bit pop out but you might be squinting a lot or you might need to get a light pad uh, to put underneath the painting so it pops out to you more um, or magnifying glass as well um, so just be wary on some of these I'm not going to go through all of the moons like I just did in depth um, when I do finish them 
and I do my finished um, final thoughts, I will mention my tricky parts. If I can remember if I had any tricky areas when I get done with the paintings. So until the next time, I will see you all then.